As an engineer, small developer is absolutely amazing and simultaneously terrifying. It is like having a junior engineer in your pocket. This goes beyond putting a prompt into ChatGPT and having it help you code. This actually creates an entire project for you. And it's super easy to use. So I'm gonna show you a project that I created in two minutes. Then I'm gonna show you how to install it. Let's do it. So here's the prompt that I gave it. Write a Python project that takes a ChatGPT API key in an M file. And then when the main script runs, ask the user for a prompt and then use the ChatGPT 3.5 Turbo API endpoint to get a response from ChatGPT. Then it displays that response to the user and asks for another prompt. Make sure to include a requirements.txt file. Also make sure to use the OpenAI module. Here's an example of what the ChatGPT API call should look like. And then I gave it an example straight from the ChatGPT API docs. So I ran small developer on this prompt and it output an entire project for me. So we have the requirements file, we have the main file, and we also have an M file. Now I'm definitely gonna rotate this API key before publishing the video. So let's run it, let's see what happens. Enter your prompt, tell me a joke. There it is. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Because it was too tired. Amazing. When was Bill Clinton president? Bill Clinton was the 42nd president of the United States and he served two terms from January 20th, 1993 to January 20th, 2001. So again, I created this entire project from a few lines of a prompt and it actually created all the files for me. So let me show you how to install it now. So this is the GitHub page, small-ai slash developer. It has over 7,000 stars and nearly 500 forks and it's one of the trending GitHub repos right now. Human-centric and coherent whole program synthesis, AKA your own personal junior developer. So it gives a bunch of information about what it does, but let's actually do it. Now this is so easy to use and they give a few examples of incredible projects built from just a few prompts. And you can get extremely detailed in these prompts. You can think of it like writing a spec and then you pass it off to a junior developer to write. And ChatGPT writes it for you and creates all the files, so it's Amazing. So the first thing we're gonna do is come down around two thirds of the way through the page. We're gonna grab this line, git clone, and then the GitHub repo. We're gonna copy that. So I have a new VS code window open. I'm gonna come up to the top right and click for a new terminal. Now, once that new terminal opens, I'm gonna CD to the desktop, hit enter. And now I'm gonna paste that line, git clone, github.com, small dash AI slash developer. Then I'm gonna hit enter. And then that's gonna clone it to my desktop. From there, I'm gonna CD into that folder. So now I'm in the folder. So the next thing I'm gonna do is come up to the top left, click the Explorer icon, and then click Open Folder. Then I'm gonna open the developer folder. So there it is, that's the entire small developer project. I'm gonna open up the terminal again by clicking the toggle panel in the top right. And while that's going, I'm gonna rename the .example.env to just .env. Then we're gonna click on it, and we're gonna enter our OpenAI API key. Now you can use Anthropic as well if you want, but I'm just gonna stick with OpenAI, okay? So if you don't have an OpenAI API key, head on over to OpenAI and just generate one. Then we're gonna save this file. We're gonna go down to main.py and this is the main file. So the nice thing about this project is it uses modal.com. I had actually not heard of modal.com, but essentially it's like a container, like Docker. And it really takes away all of the complexities of managing module versions, Python versions, which I always stumble on. And according to a lot of the comments in my videos, a lot of you stumble on too. So this is a great solution to that. Now you don't need it, but it really makes it easier. So to use modal, go to modal.com, sign up for a new account. It says here that it's in private beta, but I was able to sign up no problem. So I don't think it's in private beta anymore. Then we're gonna copy this right here, pip install modal dash client. I'm gonna switch back to my terminal and I'm gonna paste it. So pip install modal dash client. Enter. I already have it installed, but if you didn't, it would have installed it there. Now, if you wanted to run this without modal, all you have to do is pip install dash r requirements.txt and then run the file python main no modal.py rather than main.py. But we're gonna stick with using modal. And so the basic usage is right here. So we're gonna grab just these first commands and then I'm gonna copy it and it's modal run main.py dash dash prompt. Switch back to Visual Studio Code and I'm gonna paste that in. And so let's start with something really basic. Write a Ruby script that counts to 100. And then I'm gonna hit enter. 
Now, the first time you do this, Modal is going to ask you to authenticate. And all you have to do is click the link, open up the website, log in, and then switch back to terminal. And you're done. So it says it's going to create one file, count to 100.rb. And you can see here that it's actually using containers with Modal. And it has a pretty nice UI for being strictly through the terminal. And there it is. It actually outputs the file name and what's in the file. But the cool part is it actually generates it for me. So if I come up here to the left and click this generated folder, click the drop down, there's the file it just created, count to 100.rb. So def count to 100 for i and 1 to 100 puts i. That is correct. Now, obviously, this was a very simple example, but you can get quite complex. And the nice thing is, you don't actually have to put the entire prompt in the terminal. You can create this thing called prompt.md and put your entire prompt in there. All right, so I have my little script here, modal run main.py dash dash prompt, and then I output the prompt. So I'm gonna highlight that whole thing. I'm gonna come to the terminal, I'm gonna paste it, and then when it's finished, I hit enter. And now it's gonna start creating that project. Now you could just create a .md file and put your prompt in there instead of having to paste the entire prompt directly into terminal. Now, while that's going, let me show you an example of what they've done. Now, here's a really detailed spec of a Chrome extension. Now, I don't have access to Anthropic Claude yet, uh, but as soon as I do, I'm gonna test this out. But for now, you can see they basically created an entire detailed spec that can be passed to a junior developer. And in this case, the junior developer is ChatGPT. And there it's done, app completed. So let's check it out. Now we're gonna go to the generated folder. We're gonna click it and we're gonna look inside. So we have the project root, we have our .m file, we have the main.py file, and it looks like everything is correct. And we even have the requirements.txt file. So for here, we need an API key. So I'm gonna go grab that. I'm gonna double click it, paste, and now I have the API key and I'm gonna save. Then I'm going to go to main.py and I'm going to push play and let's see if it works. Okay, so it loaded. Tell me a joke. Hit enter and there it is. Why wouldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Because it was too tired. Funny, it gave me the same exact joke as before. And that's it. We've created an entire project just with a prompt and it creates the entire file structure, all of the code for it, and it's easily done. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you like this video, please consider giving me a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.